more beautiful. Have you ever seen any place in the world more beautiful? Just look at the colors of the sea down there in the sky. And those little pink and green buildings on the hill. Think of all those roofs you could climb over. Who did you call me? Roby. John Roby. One of the world's cleverest jewel thieves known as the Cat. I read all about you in the Paris paper. You may have read about somebody called the Cat, I but... I you said you were hungry. I am. The picnic basket's in the trunk. I hope you tried to bluff me, Mr. Roby, and then I can have the fun of telling you how clever I was. Since I'm not Mr. Roby, but Mr. Burns, there would be hardly any point in trying to bluff you. Nevertheless, tell me how clever you were. Well, the first thing I noticed about you was... You don't sound so pleased with yourself. I've never caught a jewel thief before. It's stimulating. It's like... Well, it's like... Like sitting in a hot tub? Yes, that means it. The first time I saw you was on the beach at Cannes. You swam ashore from a motorboat driven by that little French girl. You got an opener? You want a leg or a breast? You make the choice. It was just two days before you showed up at the hotel as Mr. Conrad Burns, uh -huh. just over from America. Did you swim? Well, naturally. Oh, now don't be disappointing and sound like Mr. Burns. I can only be myself, Miss Stevens. Then be yourself, John. I prefer Conrad. Can't be serious. I think it's about time you called me Francie. Look out for mother. I've tried to steal a jewelry before. So when I read about the, uh, you in the paper, just a small item, but I picked it up. Are you sure mother would catch your eye? Mm -hmm. well, she did, because I liked her. And so far, Miss Stevens. Mm, Francie. So far, you haven't said anything that sounds even remotely clever. Well, stick around. The next thing I noticed about you was something remarkable. No. All evening long, you only looked at my mother, never at me. I kissed you, didn't I? I kissed you. Well, let me get your mother then. You were thinking about him. Otherwise, you never would have let me say goodnight so easily. I'm a gentleman. A rough lumberman from the big northwest. I must remember to yell timber occasionally. Now, here comes some of the clever part. You're just not convincing, John. You're like an American character in an English movie. Mm -hmm. You just don't talk the way an American tourist ought to. Don't you know that all the guidebooks say, don't behave like a tourist? It's just that you never mention business or, or baseball or television or wage freezes or Senate probes. All the things I'd have to America to forget. You're just not American enough to carry it off. Yeah. Tell me, how long has it been? As long as what, Bill? Since you were in America last? Well, I don't know, about four or five days. In Oregon? Two or three days before that. They made three deciduous trees indigenous to the Northwest. Helen, you're a very nice girl, but you've got too much imagination. You go around talking like that about me, and I'll wind up in a French jail for something I didn't do. You're going to rob Mother first or somebody else? Well, under the circumstances, somebody else. Mm, that's nice. Mother likes you. Well, I think Lady Ketton should be our next job. Now, listen. Isn't she on your list? She ought to be. Ketton jewels are famous. I know every inch of a villa. I can already hear your next line. The cat has a new kitten. When do we start? Don't talk like that. You're leaving fingerprints on my arm. I'm not John Roby, the cat. Why are the police following you? Show me that real estate list. That villa we went to isn't for rent and you know it. Sanford's have owned it for years. Now I'm going to a party there in a week. You have a very strong grip. The kind of burglar needs. Cocktails at 8 and dinner at 8.30, all in my suite. We'll talk about it there. I can't come. I'm going to the casino and watch a fireworks display. You'll get a better view from my place. Already got another date? Everywhere you go, I'll have you paged as John Roby the Cat. 8 o'clock. And be on time. I haven't got a decent watch. Steal one. 